hello everyone you're welcome back to this youtube channel it's a pleasure to have you here with me on this channel and i want to sincerely appreciate you for dropping by to watch the video today i'm going to be sharing with you something that is very very important it is one of the most difficult um program to apply to in brazil and in the course of this video i'm going to be breaking down everything but first let me let you know that this particular application is offered by Universidade Federal de Andonia. so it is a university in the northern part of the, of brazil and um, of course from the little background i've done about this school i realized that they are very very good in this line of subject that i'm going to be discussing with you in this video so once again the name of the university is federal university of Antonia. and guess what they are um they are right now i mean right now the application announcement is out for masters in administration for i mean academic administration okay because we have a professional at, at, at uh, business admin and other courses that is related to, related to administration but in this for this one it is actually academic administration i mean master's degree academic master's degree in uh, administration so if you have been looking for possibility to do a course in administration this might just be the uh, right one for you one of the good things is that the application is not starting yet that means you have ample time to put all your supporting documents together it's going to be starting on it's going to be starting on the 14th of april 2025 and it will last up till 18th of may 2025 the postgraduate program in administration of the federal university of Antonia has opened a selection process once you click here, you can also get to read more about the um, announcements. For the academic master's degree in administration, so either you're looking for public admin, you're looking for any administration related course, I saw different research line under this particular opening. And uh, there's just one caveat, which I'm also, I'm also going to talk about shortly. So applications can be submitted between April 14th and May 18th using this link. There are 20 vacancies available for admission in the second semester, which is going to be starting in August, September. So the selection is aimed at holders of higher education diploma recognized by the MEC, MEC, or by a national higher education institution and a certificate of score in the AMPAD test in addition starting in 2022. So this is where there's a little challenge for you to do anything administration in brazil they usually on a scale of one to ten like nine times they will ask you for this proficiency exam it is called ampad okay so ampad is like a proficiency exam for people it's a proficiency exam for people within this uh, line of knowledge talking about administration so I'm, I'm also going to be talking a little bit about it shortly but then let's look at what this part has to say the master's degree in administration is organized into the management sustainability concentration area and two research lines talking about strategy management and technology in organization and production management so when we talk about administration these are just the core line uh strategy management and technology in organization production management, economy, and sustainable development in the Amazon. So this other part might not you know, relate to every other person, but then this area that we talked about, at least it cut across uh, all areas of management. So if you are interested, of course, kindly make sure that you write your proposal to tailor towards this area of research. So how is this lecture going to Cool. The selection we have five stages. The first one is registration, analysis of documentation, enter into the SIGA of this particular school, um, analysis and evaluation of the research proposal. Don't forget, I've said it that proposal and your CV is very important. Analysis, assessment of the curriculum score, okay, and analysis of the interview. So there's going to be in, there's going to be analysis of this document, and there's going to be analysis of your. Uh, there's also going to be an interview rather 
Okay, so candidates' participation in this selection process will depend on their score in the test of the National Association of Graduate Studies Administration (APAD), and it is necessary to present the result of the APAD test. The score obtained will be used for placement and ranking purposes among candidates. So that means if you have done your APAD, not I mean, not later than 2024, you can use it in this particular application. The objective of the academic master's degree of the postgraduate program in administration is to train professionals with skills and abilities to develop and undertake teaching and research methodologies and practice in the context of covering the state of the heart of administration science and to manage organizations. Now, this is what I'm going to tell, say. Um, if you want to apply for this particular course and you have a certification that you feel it's i mean if you have a certification that commensurates with ampad i'm going to be sharing with you right now what is ampad so if you have a, a certification that commensurates with this particular one then you can apply but then before you apply there will be need for you to reach out to the school send them email and let them know that you have a specific qualification which commensurates with APAD, okay? So send them email and they are going to get back to you if it's something they want you to proceed with or not, okay? So once again, the the opportunity is going to start in the month of April and it will last up to, I mean, it will be opened up to May 18 and this is where you can apply. There are 20 vacancies and the people they are looking for are people with know that you already have a higher degree and international students are also uh, welcome to apply. So, guys, you can just check and see if it's something that uh, resonates with you. Now, let me show you what is AMPAD. So, this is the uh, official site of AMPAD, and the full meaning of AMPAD is Brazilian Academy of Management. Okay, so it's just like, a, for example, let me use Nigeria as an example. In Nigeria, we have a, a like a professional uh, certification known as ICANN, which is from the Institute Chartered of Accountants, right? So, you can imagine, I want you to imagine ICANN this way. I want you to imagine AMPAD. Just like I can, okay. So they are they regulate so many things that has to do with administration in Brazil. So for you to do a master's degree in administration, you must have done this proficiency in uh, AMPAD. So the good thing is that right now there is application for the april edition i think they do it like four times in a year they've done one in april i mean in february so they're going to do another one in april so they're still going to do two more before the year runs out so if it is something you feel uh, you can partake in because uh although the tests the proficiency in amp uh, is usually done in like four different stages they're going to assess your Proficiency in Portuguese. They are going to some 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 questions will be in Portuguese. Some questions will be in English. Some question will be in analytical reasoning and some basic question from mathematics. So if you feel you can also do it, because I believe if you actually have the apart, it will greatly increase your chances in getting this administration. So this is apart that talks about the different level. I'm talking about the test. So it says. In order to meet the current demands of user institution and add more value to the analysis of results, in February 2025, the AMPAD test began to make the results available on the AMPAD test scale. So it's just trying to talk about the previous one that we did. So each of the four areas of knowledge assessed by AMPAD are Portuguese language, English language, logical mathematical reasoning, and analytical reason just like i mentioned earlier and as its own scale this is because each area measures a specific proficiency requiring a different assessment approach so on each scale the performance of the examinees is categorized into different proficiency brands bands i beg your pardon the upper test can be represented graphically as a ruler in which the questions are distributed according to the pedagogy 
cool coherence so you can just try to walk yourself around this place and get to know more about the ampad so this is just like the different area that will be assessed talking about the uh, the Portuguese language, the English, and each of them has up to like six level, level one, level two, level three, up to sixth level. So we also have the same in English. We also have the same in mathematics, and we also have the same in the uh, reasoning and analytics. Okay, so but there is a table under this page that can show you uh, how what they are actually going to be assessing you for on each of the stages okay so on each of the level rather right? so on level one they're just going to be checking for your proficiency they're going to be checking for candidates proficiency in basic knowledge of the language but by the time you are moving up to level six uh the the what they're going to be checking is a little bit um deeper so and it is at level six of portuguese language proficiency there is a robust evidence that candidates have high proficiency in the skills identify at all previous level so also in level six of english it says at level six of english proficiency test takers demonstrate greater proficiency in the skills at line in previous level and in addition and able to understand tests with more complex grammatical structures and words or expressions that bear little or no resemblance to those of the portuguese language they are able to establish cohesive relationship between distant items in the test or with implicit reference in the test. They are also able to infer the meaning of completely unknown words based on contextual clues. Okay, so that's just the last uh, proficiency in under English. Okay, so under the reasoning, you can also go the start from the basic up to the advance okay so guys like i said if you have a particular proficiency examination that is similar to ampad you can send email to the school and ask if you can apply but i believe that your email will be responded to okay so guys i am wishing you best of luck so many opportunities are coming that i'm going to be talking about on this channel and if you are coming to this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and if you have been watching the video for some times right now and uh, you are yet to subscribe please i beg you kindly subscribe so that we can be motivated to you know bring more opportunity uh till i come your way uh stay safe at a brave ciao ciao <laughs>